Hello and welcome. This video is going to be a what's sold video on all the platforms that I sell on if I made sales this week and it's going to be for the week of September 15th to September 21st. Moxie would like to let you know she is here and supporting me and my YouTube channel and wants to wave to all of her fans. I know. I know. I know they're honestly just here for you, but you'll see her flop across the screen when we change over. I only have two platforms to share with you. Uh, the week, the third week in September was quite a bit slower than the beginning of September. So I'm just gonna scoot over here. we we'll start with Poshmark. I made one sale on Poshmark, <laughs> just one. And it is this sweater. I know, I sold St. John's Bay on Poshmark. Now this sweater is actually something that my mom bought for me like a decade ago. Uh, this actually, I she got it for me from JCPenney um, I think it was, I think this was for Christmas one year. Mommy, thank you. I love them, but they don't really fit me anymore because I was about 25, 30 pounds lighter uh, than when she bought these. So they don't really fit my shoulders anymore. So I decided to move them on. You can kind of see that my shoulders are back like this. So that way, like I can make it look like the sweater fits me. <laughs> but I, this I pulled out of my own closet. Um, when I did a closet clear out and somebody bought it for $15. So this was great. And mom, thank you very much. I loved the sweater. The, I have another one that's still up for sale. It's a purple one. Basically she bought both of these for me for Christmas. Hopefully she's okay with me selling them now. I'm, I'm pretty sure if they don't fit me, she's okay with it, but I love you mom. And thank you. And now we're going to go over to eBay and Moxie's going to say hello again. Moxie, she doesn't understand the concept of camera. So she just looks unbelievably pissed off which she may very well be because it is food time but I'm gonna film this quickly because I have to uh, stream tonight uh, if you're wondering about streaming no not here on YouTube uh, I'm a partnered streamer on Twitch so there you go this is a Seattle Seahawks beanie I actually bought this from the bin so I paid probably like 50 cents for this hat it sold, now that it's football season again, for $5.50 and the buyer paid for shipping. This next item is from Loot Crate, you know, back when Loot Crate didn't suck and actually delivered crates to people. You know, that 2016, 2017, 2018 era. I don't know what happened to my company. That used to be like the best thing that you would get in a box. Like, I used to be so excited to get these boxes and like I even used to film like unboxing videos on like my original channel. So sad. But I found this while cleaning out the eBay room. I don't really care about Captain America. I mean, does Chris Evans have America's butt? Absolutely, but uh, <laughs> this can go. So this sold for $5.50 and the buyer paid $5 for shipping. Uh, just in case you didn't know, uh, loot crates used to be $20 a month. I, I think this is pretty great. Uh, I basically got loot crate for the cool t-shirts and everything else was just kind of bonus stuff for me. But again, loot crate sucks now, so. I don't recommend that product. This item is a Columbia shirt. It sold for $8.50 and the buyer paid $4.50 for shipping. This is something I picked up from the Air Force Retiree's house. So paid less than a dollar for it. Took a while to sell, but you know what? I've made so much money from that estate sale. I am perfectly happy with holding on to the last few residual pieces until they find the right person. This, however, didn't take that long to sell. I actually picked this up recently at the bins. So I paid probably a dollar for this. This is Seersucker. I know there are a lot of people on YouTube that say, you know, the larger sizes are great sizes, but as you saw, I've sold like small and medium just fine. <laughs> and like this was at the bins, uh, it didn't have anything wrong with it. So I sold it and it sold for $17 and 87 cents and the buyer paid shipping. So because I paid less than a dollar for it and like it moved within less than a month, I think that's pretty awesome. This hat I picked up with a lot of hats at an estate sale. I basically found an entire like grocery bag, but like one of those stand up craft paper. It's called craft paper. I was going to be like papery cardboard. It's craft paper, uh, one of those brown paper bags. I don't know why that was so hard. The euphasia is strong today, but she basically gave me the hats at like a dollar or two dollars a piece. Some of them were more, some were less. So we'll just say this is two dollars and put it at the high end. Uh, this sold for nineteen dollars, and the buyer paid for shipping. So I thought this was awesome. This is there was another one like kind of similar style, but that one had severe dry rot. 
Uh, so that one just kind of like <laughs> fell apart. So that one got thrown away, but this one was actually in great shape. This was at the very bottom of the bag. Next item, a vintage piece. I don't remember how I got this. It's probably, my guess is I got this like three years ago when I went to Tennessee. Not 100% sure because this sat in my eBay death pile for forever. So we're gonna guess around three to four dollars <laughs> is what it costs to purchase this and it sold for 13. Uh, just so you know, like knit and vests are in for this winter. So if you see them at the bins and get them for real cheap, I'd pick them up. This next item was amazing. So you're like, how is this $10 item amazing? It's because I found literally like a dozen of these dot journals in a bin at the Goodwill outlet. And so because it is a soft cover, I paid 25 cents a piece for these and nobody wanted them. This was like a bin that had been super gone through and it was like just all of these brand new dot journals in this bin that nobody wanted. And I was like, okay snatched them all up and I have been steadily selling them for like between six and ten dollars on eBay so it's one listing and I have I basically sold one I sold two journals and I made all the money I spent that day at the bins just on the two journals I was like floored and they've been steadily selling ever since so um the dot journaling if you ever find something in there, like a regular composition book is not necessarily, maybe not have the return, but if you find a dot grid journal, those are what like journaling YouTube prefers when you're doing like the cute journaling. I, I don't know. I just, I just know it's a thing. I, I have mad respect for people that do it. It's some of them I've seen are just stunning, but sold one for $9.87. Again, I paid a quarter for it at the bins and very happy. I will do that all day long. If I could do, if I could find more stuff like that at the bins, I would be ecstatic. This is something I picked up at a yard sale. I know I rarely go to yard sales. I didn't film this yard sale, but I've picked up a bunch of clothes for like 25 cents to 50 cents at this yard sale. And this was one of them. This is like Y2K era, thus the title. Uh, Casual Corner, just for the information, actually went out of business in 2005. So if you find Casual Corner, if it's made in the United States, it was in the 90s. If it was made in China, it was Y2K era. So 90s Y2K era, because this, this gives me Y2K vibes. And it sold on offer for $10. Uh, the buyer paid for shipping. It is brand new with tags. I don't think they exist anymore. I think I just said that. Anyway, really happy that this sold when I finally got around to listing it, because again, it was here in the eBay death pile, eBay room death pile. Another pretty quick bin flip. This is Uniqlo. I paid, you know, probably a dollar and some change for this pair of Uniqlo pants. These are Houndstooth, uh, Houndstooth Glencheck, very popular uh, in the like early to mid 2000s. And that's what all the girlies want to have. Plus these are like pull on dress pants and you know, as someone who used to have to wear, you know, business casual clothes, I liked the pull-on dress pants. <laughs> they were very comfy. Sold for my full asking price of $14.87 and the buyer paid $6.50 for shipping. I will do that all day long, even though I don't really like listing pants. But I will do that all day long. So this is a pair of Adidas ballet flats. They are originals. Yes, Adidas does make ballet flats. Uh, these are from around the 2009 era which is about when I worked for Adidas. And this was the pair of shoes I pulled so I could keep this pair of Sam Edelman boots from my latest Thread Up box, which I'll link up above if you haven't seen it. But in order to keep anything anymore, I have to get rid of something from a thrift haul. So that is what I decided to do. I got rid of this pair of shoes and actually this sold before any of the shoes from that box. So I guess I did well choosing these ones and I sold them for $17 and the buyer paid $6.50 for shipping. I bought these when I worked for Adidas, so I paid like $10 for them because you know, that steep discount and these were on clearance when I picked them up. So I still made money, even though I wore them for like 10 years. <laughs> this next item is also from a thread up box. This is from a thread up denim box. So my cost of goods during that time was like $4 a unit. I still sold these. Uh, 
they're they're a pair of women's pull-on petite elastic pants and i took an offer of six dollars because i've had these forever and i still made a tiny bit of profit and something didn't end up in a landfill so i'm very happy with that that it finally moved this is a pair of absolutely gorgeous mid-century modern uh, bookends uh, they're solid brass and these are i don't know what technically what animal this was which is why i put literally all of them i could think of i'm sure someone in the comments will tell me exactly which one it was or if i didn't even get it right but these sold for $31. I picked them out at an estate sale for $7 and they sold for $31. So I thought this was awesome. I had a bunch of, I went to one estate sale. I think I filmed it. I'm not 100% sure. But this person had a collection of Eastern Press books, which I got a couple of them. I did film it. I at least filmed the haul. And they had a bunch of beautiful MCM bookends and I bought a bunch of them and they've just been sitting in this room and I finally started to list them. So these actually sold within about um, less than a month after I listed them. Something that sold also less than a month after I listed them, this is something else I got at an estate sale. I paid roughly about seven to eight dollars per dress, an estate sale that I didn't film or do a haul for. But I found a bunch of beautiful dresses from like the, early, like the late 50s to the mid 70s and it was in size medium to 3XL. And this one was the XL, and this was brand new, dead stock piece. It had a matching belt that was faux leather. It was just gorgeous, I, it's gorgeous. And it sold, giving me very Legally Blonde vibes here. <laughs> sold for $67.89, uh, I sent a 20% off offer and that's just what it turned out to be. I just thought it was funny that it's 6789. But yeah, that was amazing. So that that was quite a boon. And all of those dresses had been there for like three days and nobody picked them up, but they were selling, like they were trying to sell them between 12 and like, I don't know, $25 depending on the dress. So I just cost average it and it worked out great. Another vintage dress, uh, this I think I picked up at a thrift store. If I did, I would have paid about $5 for it. This sold for $23.90 and the buyer paid padded flat rate for shipping. This was kind of heavy, which is why put in those keywords, cottage core, it's fall. This is like the perfect fall dress. It's got leaves all over it, giving me goth vibes, giving me granny style vibes. It, it had all the check marks of what's like trendy right now. And I'm really glad that this moved and that Karen has definitely more than paid for herself now. Another thing that sat in this eBay room for forever, I just finally got around to listing it. This sold within 48 hours of me listing it. I got this at the Smithfield estate sale, so that means I paid, you guessed it, less than a dollar for this Lauren Ralph Lauren men's uh, camel hair jacket. So it was 100% camel hair, it was a size 50R, uh, about XL to XL size. Sold so quickly, I will, I. I listed this for like $49.87 and this person sent me a $47 offer. And I was like, of course I will accept that. Absolutely. That's amazing. This went to some uh, policeman on the West Coast somewhere. Thought that was cool. This is a bracelet. I don't really sell a whole lot of jewelry, but I got a lot of jewelry for free from my lovely friends, Carolyn and Ernie. Carolyn was going through her stuff and Ernie was like, hey, Maybe, maybe give it to Bob. And I was like, yes, please, thank you. <laughs> so this sold for $3.90 and the buyer paid $4 for shipping. Had no brand, had, I had no information. I just described it and somebody bought it. Excellent. Next item I also picked up at an estate sale. Are you noticing a trend here? My favorite places to source currently are the bins and estate sales. There haven't been really any good estate sales, which is probably a good thing because I would have to say no to them. But this I paid a dollar for at an estate sale. It sold for nine and the buyer paid four dollars for shipping. This estate sale had just a ton of country paraphernalia from like the mid to late 2000s. So very happy this sold. Same place I got the number one dad hat. I also picked up this chief's hat at an estate sale. This I paid two dollars for. It sold for, because it was new with tags. So I didn't get the dollar price. I got the two dollar price. So. This sold for $10 and the buyer paid $4 for shipping. This is a thrift store pickup. Dolly, you gotta love her. She's amazing. Uh, I picked this up for a dollar at a thrift store. Brand new sealed recent CD. 
uh, and it sold for my full asking price of $4.87 within 24 hours of me listing it. It's great. I love media when I find it. I normally only get sealed stuff unless it's like rare or weird or interesting. If it's something that I'm interested in seeing if I like it, I'll pick it up still because if I don't like it, I can just donate it or sell it. So this was great. Happy it moved. Another Loot Crate piece, except this wasn't something from my Loot Crate that I received. This is something I actually picked up at a thrift store because I knew what it was from. And this sold for $9.87, which is my full asking price, and the buyer, of course, paid for shipping. And I paid $2 for this at ACHKD. This is actually something I had in this closet because I had intended to get to wear it this fall, uh, but it sold before I got to do that, which happens normally when I put anything in the rotating reseller closet. If it's something that I really like and want to get a lot of wear out of before it sells, it sells almost immediately. So that's what ended up happening here. Perfectly happy with that. I will take that $10. I paid like $4.50 for this because it was something that I was hoping to wear before it sold, but that's all right. I still doubled my money and this moved on to a new home. This next item is something that Carolyn gave me. So this is 100% free. Sold for $10.94 and the buyer paid for shipping. Uh, I really appreciated one, all the free inventory, which has been a blessing, but two, it also helped me learn a couple new brands. Like I'd never heard of Venus before other than, you know, the razor. <laughs> I'm your Venus, I'm your fire, your desire. Very catchy commercial from forever ago. But this is actually swimmer brand. Um, so that was kind of cool to learn. And apparently they also make cover-ups and this is considered a cover-up. But yeah, sold, free, awesome. All right, so the last item I have to share with you is this Lilo and Stitch spaced out shirt. This shirt actually sold, I think three times on an offer and the buyer never paid. And the fourth time it finally stuck. So they bought it outright <laughs> for $9.87 and the buyer paid $4 for shipping. This is something I picked up the bin, so I paid less than a dollar for it. So like I, I mentioned before, you know, this last, this third week in September was kind of slow. This last week in September has picked back up, back to where it was at the beginning. So I don't know why it kind of lulled, but I do know from when I worked at retail, pretty much like the two weeks after kids go back to school like after Labor Day, it kind of like lulled as like people were trying to get back into the new groove and then things picked back up and then just kept picking up as we got closer to holiday. So I'm hoping that'll be true here doing full-time reselling, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this information was interesting. I share all of my sales with you guys, the very, very low to whatever high ones I get. I mean, I know my highs are not as high as some people's here on YouTube, but you know what? My sourcing is different. Everybody's sourcing is different. So I try to do your best to glean information from this video, but don't necessarily compare yourself to me because everybody's business is different. Everybody's sourcing is different. Everybody's business model is different. Everybody's energy levels are different and their health and their family and friend circumstances are different. So thank you guys for watching and I will hopefully see you in a couple days for another video. Till then, bye.